Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Sanctum League 3.20. In this episode, I'm going to be going through build updates. Enjoy the video. <laughs> also, Happy New Year. Alright, so I wanted to go through a build update. So pretty much, uh, I have two uh, Demon Harpies, uh, Pale Seraphim, and then an Arena Master Spectres. Uh, those are my four Spectres. Uh, the two Demon Harpies, like, yeah, Pale Seraphim and Arena Master. Uh, Demon Harpies and Pale Seraphim are from Beyond, uh, replaced, and then the Arena Master is from the Conqueror map, uh, Veritania. Oh, the Demon Harpy, 60% increased Fizz damage taken, the Pale Seraphim is 15% increased Fizz damage taken, or uh, increased damage taken, and 15 action speed slow, and the Arena Master's move speed and act attack speed and um, damage. Uh, so then my second update is uh, I put a Purity of Fire in the build, and uh, the reason for this is I wanted to run Melding with the minus 4, max all Ellie res. And uh, I had gotten this Sanctified Relic with 3 max Fire Res, and I realized how good it really was. And so, 3 max Fire Res. Um, I, I have also these ones back here. Uh, 2 max Cold, 2 max Cold. So they could have rolled 3, but, you know, and then unmodifiable, so you can't change it. Uh, so I had the 3 max Fire, and I was like, oh, that's like an unnerfed Melding. Melding is really good, so I want to do that. And then... Uh, purity of fire with that and then I could also run the max fire res on the boot this is a uh, exquisite searing exarch and so I did um, exarch grand and then I did like an exceptional I uh, eldritch icor and I did orbs of conflict and tried to increase it and if I decrease the eater of worlds uh, from this exceptional i would just reapply it so it would have the like good odds at increasing the exarch one um and then i had to go to inquisit uh exquisite for the two percent which is one off of max yeah yeah so we're stacking all of that stuff uh with the this sanctified relic and then i also have the aura effect through the chest plate um and i have aura effect through uh i was showing the emmy because of the anoint charisma and I also have influence, and then we also have this stuff over here for all the aura effect. Um, and so we scale up our purity of fire. We're getting 85 uh, max Ellie res total, which is really good. And uh, it may it's pretty good for melting. I'd like to get it to 90. Uh, I thought about doing an impossible escape and doing soul of steel prismatic skin, and I thought it would reach this little one max fire res over here, because I. I could have sworn it did before, but I tried it, and it only reaches the 1 max lightning, so it doesn't reach this, so I can't take it. So if I was Purity of Lightning, if I had a lightning one, then I could do it. But the benefit of Purity of Fire and being the fire one is, uh, detonate dead, especially strong boxes. Oh my god, they're pretty rippy, and then for your animate guardian, giving him that extra max fire res, taking him to 90, where he already is at 83 from the, uh, mastery really good and then you actually overcap him for his fire especially so he has extra extra fire res uh and then also uh my old helmet and my old uh boot i believe it was these two it was also alberon's technically i was using this instead of this for a little while with the skeleton so we'll start with this one it had chaos press uh the strength okay um, this and then this perma skellies. The the main reason I stopped using perma skellies is uh, they were dying in blight, and that was just T sixteen blight alked and corrupted. Uh, so it wasn't great because I would come back from my AFK and I'd only have five skellies, and I'd be like, well, yeah, first of all, it's linked to four things, so it costs a lot of mana. So I had to. Um, undo an aura just to be able to resummon them and then i have to resummon them and i have to keep looking at this every map and then uh in normal mapping i actually had to invest in minion survivability more because skeletons are so squishy uh they were dying in normal maps unless i invested more so i invested more got them to survive but randomly uh against a king harpy they would die king harpies were pretty rippy uh so yeah just skelly's too squishy overall um and then the helmet i had was uh the reservation implicit pretty good minion move speed uh, i had the golem enchant you don't need the golem enchant i'll show you my new one 
I'll, I'll just give you a bunch of examples basically but this was one of them i have stone golem on my build 150 buff effect is just extra life regen and it's actually pretty good so then uh this helmet was uh the plus two and then it was suppressed dex and the cold and chaos so you can tell that i had a lot of chaos res here in these two items uh the dex the strength the suppress and the uh, plus two okay and the reservation uh, my other boot was strength life fire res suppress move speed so then i ended up finding this i looked up uh, i was looking for deck suppress um plus two uh and then i looked up strength suppress plus two and i found this one and i believe it was only two divine orbs uh and it already had the extra decks or no no no, i had an open suffix and i slammed decks on it yeah but anyways the main reason for this one over the other one is i was trying to get um the strength on the helmet instead of dex on the helmet so that i could get dex on the boot and make it easier and then i wanted an open prefix on the helmet so that i could get uh the extra zombie because i only have nine zombies a tenth zombie is a lot of extra damage and i couldn't fit it on this one because i didn't have an open prefix i would have had to do the eldritch null and that's a one in three gamble and i didn't want to do it and i had crafted a suffix anyways and then what about my cold and chaos right um so here we got the strength we we got extra decks. That was the really cool part. So that was really sick. And I actually slammed uh, the life as well. Because uh, I had an open mod. I blocked armor and evasion rating. Increased armor and evasion rating. I slammed life. Uh, and then this I bought. So uh, I only needed with the mage blood. And then the, head, the, the helmet. I only needed 30 decks. Because I got the deck suffix. Uh, so it was like 30 something so i mainly looked for the chaos rest suppress life move speed and then just a little bit of dex and i found this for only two divine orbs and i was like that's just exactly what i need and it fits and it's perfect and then i got the extra chaos res in the open suffix so then uh, i got my chaos capped uh and then i have the extra move speed over alberon's and uh, I don't need the cannot be frozen, cannot be chilled. Technically, the increased move speed if you haven't been hit recently is nice. Uh, and I got the mana regen if you've cast a spell recently. I, I also would rather move speed or regen as the enchant. Here I got, um, I was doing Gift to the Goddess. So if you don't know, I had um, the super trials in my map. And so I did those. I got two Gift to the Goddesses. And then I also got uh, a couple of the dedication and a couple of the tribute. So it was like a perfect balance, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So two Gift of the Goddesses, and um, that gives you like seven or eight enchants. Seven or eight enchants available, and I did two of them. So I got, uh, yeah, the trigger commandment of the grave when your skills or minions kill. So this summons three like immune SRS skulls that attack and can do like almost 600,000 damage in my build normally uh so it's actually like a pretty sizable amount of extra damage and clear and it's kind of nice and uh could actually like help trigger the animate guardian explosion um uh, it's really good and it also if you use carry on golem it's extra minions for the carry on golem but uh my other one was uh, i i rolled over it i had the commandment of light and that one was uh consecrated ground when you're crit i believe so yeah uh, and then the helmet, I ended up finding Flesh Offering, 21 attack speed. I also found Grace, but I didn't have Grace in my build. And I only put Grace in it occasionally instead of the Haste for the evasion when I'm running like Beyond and stuff. But I'm not running it all the time, so I'm not running Grace Perma. Um, Grace is selective. And, and then I ended up going for this Flesh Offering attack speed just because I found it. 21% attack speed on a flesh offering reminds me of an eminence jewel primordial eminence so much attack speed and then it's for all my minions and it's really sick and then something else that i find really important uh so let me take these out and uh this is what i want to show so this is basically without the mage blood bonuses um at 57 because of the boot and uh and I want to show this. So you trigger your flesh offering. So I switched my um, plague bringer to mistress, and it, this is so you get the skill effect duration for the phase run. So you, it's easier to get the phase run duration with. You only have to run phase run and in, increase duration. You don't need the efficacy support. So that's really nice. And then the other thing is your offering affects you. So you can do this, and you saw me get 23 move speed. So that was really cool too. Lots of move speed. 
Um, then phase run when you have it perma. Uh, I got it to 65 with the ashes 26 quality. I want to get a better ashes for the 30 quality, but yeah, uh, normal phase run 2020, 2023. It has the. <laughs> 24 move speed from the quality and then 41 from the base level so just having high decks to be able to run haste and grace so that yeah the extra move speed was haste and then there's also um val haste and i showed that i have like a lot of aura effect almost 100 aura effect with the chest plate and everything so this will be like an extra 40 move speed when i click it and so it's kind of worth it to cancel my phase run to get this um and then something else is uh i this is extra you don't it, I only got this recently because I'm not, I notice when I'm not running a quartz flask, uh, I notice it. So anyways, what I'm saying is uh, you have phasing while affected by haste on a watcher's eye um, or a quartz flask is like really nice because of when you cancel your phase run to do the Val haste, then you still have phasing. Um, you could you should probably have more sources of phasing than just phase run because of when you do like abilities like your guard skill breaks phase run. Um, if you run an attack, it breaks phase run, or if you Val Haste, or if you were running Val Skelly, for example. Um, there's a lot of situations where it runs off, so, uh, yeah, I was still swap into it, but then my, with Mage Blood, I get to run the extra Silver Flask and Quicksilver, so we're, we're really zooming up a storm here. 262. Um, and so I wanted to just cover all the sources of move speed I put into the build, and then, the, you know why, obviously, it's, we're running Sanctum, Fast Maps, um even it helps everywhere it helps everywhere lab dove it's just really good uh heist we can go do heist with 262 move speed pretty much unkillable really good and uh yeah we're still not using le flask so we're very not reliant on the mage blood other than keeping the flask up all the time um and then obviously opening up some jewel sockets since my old source of shock avoid i wanted to sh show this too um I was getting shock immunity through jewels, so I had shock avoid, shock avoid, 31, 37, and then I had like another one. Uh, this one, 33. Uh, and then I also was immune, immune to bleeding through 47 avoid bleed, and I had the avoid stun. I had like four jewels of avoid stun or five jewels of avoid stun. Um... But now we just get to do it through the Mage Blood Avoid Stun and Avoid Shock. And then we use that Avoid Shock with a Storm Shroud to make the storm, uh, the Avoid Shock be Avoid All Elemental Ailments. So I'm immune to all Elemental Ailments with just a short Storm Shroud and just uh, Avoid Shock. Which technically the Avoid Shock on a Jewel could be 50%. So with just two Jewels of Avoid Shock and this, you would have immune to all Elemental Ailments. Uh, which is really insane and then you also have the extra mods on the jewels and I showed this one which is a six mod jewel and this is actually like four god mods with two not bad mods because like mana is not bad and extra fire damage isn't bad since technically I only have brutality on my main link so that extra damage does something it's not useless yeah Oh, final thing I realized at the end of my video, basically, is, um, the Spectre, uh, I actually have it with Spell Echo, and then Divergent Minion Speed, and this is pretty important, uh, to the whole, like, only running two Demon Harpies. If you don't run these extra supports, uh, it, it feels better to have three Demon Harpy, one Arena Master for damage, but with these supports, it, it makes the uptime of the Demon Harpy way better, because instead of a nine second cooldown having only 7.2 so that already helps and then they have a four second duration on the thing and then spell echoing the thing too so one demon harpy can stack its buff all the way to 20 by itself um you don't need two of them screaming the same thing and then we do have two of them for consistency um for multiple targets and for um since the downtime it's only four seconds and has a downtime of 7.2 technically like 7.2 cooldown so yeah um and then we we could still run three demon harpy one arena master you don't have to run the pale seraphim but it is noticeable that when you have two or less targets um you get extra damage and the action speed slow is really nice uh which is most of the time and that's because of these supports that it makes all this really good
Uh, two more things, which was uh, when I mentioned the purity of fire, I didn't mention uh, how I fit it, so I used this uh, reservation jewel. Uh, it's a three passive with increased effect, and then the extra mods are just not a notable. If you uh, if you get a notable, it kills one of these. Technically, you can have a notable of one of your like fifty percent auras, um, or even your purity of fire, um, but it's better just to get the 35 because then you get the extra small passives which is the extra mods that you ro you roll on it um and so i just alt spammed this 84 small cluster with reservation and i hit increased effect pretty easily and then i just regaled it and slammed it and i actually hit pure guile and i, I didn't want it so i annulled it and then slammed again yeah uh so that was my jewel for that that got me the extra reservation i needed uh, there's technically some extra reservation through the ashes, but I definitely recommend uh, this method. That small cluster is the like infinite reservation source. You just could stack them in these in your uh, cluster jewel setup and get as much reservation as you want. And you're an aura stacker. And then uh, yeah, my watcher's eye. I wanted to show the rest of it. I ended up finding a determination, determination, haste, and the haste was the phasing. Um, I wanted this. I've wanted this for so many seasons, but uh, I've always had people sniping my sniping the jewels that i i've wanted so this one's really nice i i want to divine this but this is how i got it from somebody and it was only like 22 divines so it was perfect life es man that's just funny 666 anyways uh the real thing was the eight percent fizz damage reduction and then the reduced extra damage from crits which oh man 40 percent that's insane. You could get 60. Um, so that's why I say I have to define it. It's literally the worst roll. But even 40 is like, damn, that's nice. That's nice. It reminds me of uh, Belt of the Deceiver or the 30, 30 crit reduction here or the 30 crit reduction here. It's really sick when you die to crits and now you take less from those big hits. Crits are so obnoxious, especially when you get that map with the extra crit chance and the extra crit multi, and then they're hitting like double damage through crits, and and now you're not taking as much damage from the crits. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, those are all my build updates. I have a couple more things, which is uh, these are like swaps. Uh, I, I was running Inspired Learning, still can, can swap to it, put it here. Don't run the uh, Watcher's Eye, and then I can just swap points to take the nodes that I need, like the Endurance, Overcharge, and the Faith and Steel to get the Inspired Learning if I'm doing really crazy juice mapping and I want the uh, the buffs. But uh, for what I'm doing, I'm doing like Sanctum and, uh, and other content that isn't really that juicy right now, so you don't really need the Inspired Learning. Um... And I, and I like the consistency of my build right now, where I'm not relying on the, the buffs as much. And, uh, like, the Valskelly. And uh, I could run an Anima Stone with an extra Jewel Socket, for example, and put in a Carry On Golem instead of the Minion Speed. Uh, there's all these these options I have right now. The Carry On Golem would be the Anomalous one for the extra buff effect. Very important. And uh, you could, I could run an extra Curse. Because I still only have the curse from the Animate Guardian right now. But now... Oh, I also... I forgot to mention this. Very important. Glad I was going through my extras. I upgraded the Animate Guardian's glove. So he has a Grave Bind uh, that had... Uh, Enfeeble on it. Curse, Corruption, uh, Enfeeble. Now I upgraded it to Vulnerability. When you upgrade, it deletes the old one. So it's gone. And uh, I replaced it with... A vulnerability one which cost five divine orbs it was kind of expensive but uh he's not dying and that extra curse for damage is really appreciated especially with the curse buff where we don't have the less effective curses on bosses anymore so we should just do a lot more damage to the uber to bosses pinnacle bosses all of them and the uber uber pinnacle uh having the extra vulnerability is going to be huge for when i show up there yeah uh, and then I have the Grey Swap. I usually keep that in my inventory. And uh, you can see that I have Corrupted Blood. Right now I'm just clicking a flask for it. Uh, I don't have a source of Corrupted Blood anymore in the build. But technically I'm not Bleed Immune either. So it's just good. And this was my other source of Bleed, uh, bleed Immune. I have to click this. Uh, something else that is never mentioned by anyone is Mistress of Sacrifice increased skill effect duration actually affects the, the guard skills. 
so even a mortal call in a cast and damage taken setup. So anyways, um, the buff lasts 4.5 instead of 3, and then cooldown of 3 still. So that's really cool. Um, my bone armor is buffed when I use Mistress of Sacrifice. There's some synergy here. There's like a combo. Uh, and technically, there would be the same thing with the skill effect duration um, from the tree that you could grab as well. So you can buff your guard skills, which we already knew, but like even the guard skill from the Ascendancy, no one ever brings this up. Bone, ar Bone Berry doesn't get enough love. Bone Armor doesn't get enough love. True. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, these build updates. Uh, I also have the option of running a Gold Flask Perma instead of the Granite, just have less armor, of course. Um, I like the armor, though. I value over 25k armor. I don't like tw just 25k. And then there's also, um, I could, instead of Silver Flask, yeah, Quartz Flask for the phasing or the Watcher's Eye. Or I could run a Gold Flask for the extra rarity. Uh, but here I'm doing the extra move speed. Uh, there's a bunch of options. You could even run the LE Flask for the extra... Um, le mitigation but yeah i hope you guys enjoy these build updates and i hope it helps you guys following along and it clears some of the stuff up of why i've done the things i've done um and you get some explanation and you following the pov are less confused hopefully you have some more reasons for everything um it's been fun for now i've been enjoying the things i've been testing like the skellies and all these different swaps and the season's going really well and there's way too much to do i hope you guys are having as much fun as i am and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it to this part in the video and you've ever summoned a skeleton in this game, hit the like button. And if you hit the like button, why aren't you subscribed? Subscribe already. You'll be notified of the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!